Well, good morning, guys. Welcome back to another video. I know it's been a minute since I've uploaded my last video, but I'm gonna be heading out on the ice. I found some good ice yesterday. Um, I know this might be coming out a little bit later. I, I see guys have already been out on ice, and I found ice probably about four weeks ago, but not safe enough ice to be walking on. But I got on ice just about Thanksgiving weekend, and um, got some good footage from there but i haven't been able to upload any of my videos but anyways i'll be chasing crappies bluegills walleyes perch anything in, on the wisconsin river or the backwaters and i got on some pretty good crappies and bluegills but anyways i hope you guys do enjoy today's video and just want to let you know that i'm getting my stuff ready right now it's about 5 30 in the morning but got some stuff ready and uh i'll be heading out there but anyways i will catch you guys out on the water and i will see you guys soon got him guys freaking slab wasn't freaking recording at all this thing is rolling backwards so i'm gonna try to learn how to flip it around look at that slab turn it off and turn it back on here get you guys going again all right guys got him another slab nice one I'm in the bucket here. I wasn't even looking at my rod. Also, I just heard my drag peeling and I looked up, my rod was holding on the hole. And I'm like, crap, I gotta get over there. Put my rod over here so I don't get, hey, put my bag jacket here so I can't get all wet. My sled is soaked right now. Put on another middle here and I'll get you guys going. But I'll show you guys my setup that I'm doing. I for, well, first off, I've got a scoop. Second off, I forgot my freaking tip down rods. So now I'm using my other two rods that I have as tip down rods. But I know I'm not gonna lose them because I have the drag set as loose as possible. And then I'm using my two power noodle rods from uh 13 fishing, both of them are called the snitch. Great, great panfish rods. Um, both of them using the dead stick. And all I'm doing is taking the middle, my hook here, just a tungsten tubby jig from VMC, barely hooking it through the back, and putting it about two feet down. About two feet down, I loosen the drag as much as possible. And I'll just set it up here, just like this. Just put some around, something like that. And then when the fish come in, they can grab it. And my drag is loose enough to where when they start running, they can just peel line off. And I won't have to worry about them taking my rod down the hole. Right here. Crappie. Rod started twitching and this little little guy. Thanks, buddy. That was awesome. Got this set up the same way. Just grabbing a middle, poking up through the back. Like this. I'm actually sitting here switching up, putting a di different lure on my other rod here because I wanted to try a different setup here. But anyways, that was awesome. I'm going to use my other rod here for 13 fishing. It's called the Wicked Pro. Thirteen Fishing makes a lot of good stuff. I use a bunch of their plastics that they have. Thank you so much. And they make a lot of good plastics too. Hey. 
I was actually just using their plastics before, right here, on this jig. But I'm gonna switch to a spoon here. The lure I was using was this little Scandi moon jig with the 13 fishing pyrolyzer plastic. But anyways, I'm gonna get finished up here and I'll we'll get back to you guys in a little bit. Another one. I got another one here. Just a little guy. Wow. Really, another little guy, huh? Thanks, buddy. I'm really just still trying to get changed up here. No later than 30 seconds from the last one I caught there. This rod started going too, and I'm like, come on, man, let me get finished setting up here so we can, so I can keep fishing too. But yeah, if you guys ever forget a tip down or something, always think about using your, an extra rod or something like this that I have. For a dead stick for a minute or something. But if you do this, always make sure that your drag is set loose so you don't lose your rod. So the worst thing you can do when you're fishing is lose your rod down the hole. I'm gonna finish getting set up here if that's possible. I'll get back to you guys in a little bit. Finished tying up here now, guys. Got one. Probably a slab. Freaking slabber. Oh my goodness, look at that tank. Anyways, I'm gonna put a middle back on this rod here, and I'm gonna. Oh, this other rod's going too. Got him. Another slap. No. Gosh dang it. Okay, I'm gonna get both these set up again, and I will uh, get back to you guys in a minute here. Gosh dang it, dude. That was another freaking slab. He had freaking two of them. That one should be good. Get this one going here. And then I will uh, start recording on my of me jigging. I will get back to you guys as soon as I catch another fish here. But as of right now, like I said, all I'm doing is just taking them, hooking them right through the back there so they're still swimming a lot lively. Taking it, pulling some line out. Making sure the drag's really loose. Okay, that one's set. One. Got him. Slap crappie. Yeah, look at that.
slab crappie awesome again right on that rosy red caught a couple jigging already too but the rosies have been going crazy for me so if they're working I'm not gonna stop using them not a bad one there throw them in the bucket here and get another minnow here and see if we can't catch us another fish Perfect. Just hook him right through the skin there. So he's barely swimming. Sorry, so he's swimming. Hold on a little bit of line. Perfect. Should be good to go. Guys, I got another one. He's on there. Oh, what the frick? He's gone, huh? Got him, guys. There we go. Oh, yeah, look at that slab. No, come on. Come on. No, again? Guys, I have one on here. Got him. Guys, I lost like nine or ten in a row. Oh, finally I got them. After losing that many freaking fish. There's a good slab right there. Wow. That single hook that I was using before, that tungsten single hook, I just, I kept losing them on that. So I decided to switch it up a little bit, try something a little bit different, and it looks like it's working out a lot better. So... Guys, I was not recording, but it got me a nice bluegill. Probably eight and a half inch bluegill. Nice river bluegill right there. Right on that moon jig. Pink plastic crappies are biting like crazy. Nice bluegill. I would keep them, but let them go. Showed up like a crappie. Came right up and smoked it. Just have my plastic hooked like that right on the side there sorry about this cord this is my charging cord here but try to get this out of the way but anyways like i said using a moon jig here like this and the rod setup that i wanted to try out this is the 13 fishing wick pro 32 inch and then i got my sedona 500 on there and I'm just jigging up and down again still fishing three feet and so far this is not a bad rod not a bad rod a lot of 13 fishing rods for the price range is really good but anyways I'm gonna keep jigging here and see if we can't pull us another fish all right guys well thank you for watching today's video I just made it back to my car and boy can I say I got on a pile of crappies and it was fun it was really fun and i really hope you guys did enjoy today's video i hope you guys learned something also from today's video and if you guys did it means so much to me if you guys leave a comment down there so i would know i do read all the comments and i hope you guys hit, the, hit like that like button hit that subscribe button it really helps out the channel and i really appreciate every one of you guys that stay tuned and watch all my videos thank you for watching today's video and i'll catch you guys in the next one